beer versus beer. Welcome back guys. This is the beer versus beer series. It's gonna be the first episode, first starting off the series. And what I'm gonna be doing in the series, I'm gonna be reviewing two different type of beers. Possibly could have the same styles or different styles. Um, it could be a lager, it could be an ale. Um, it could be anything. So I'm just gonna review two beers against each other and see which one's the better one. I decided to select the Bitburger for this one because a lot of requests for the Bitburger and a lot of people say it tastes good. I never tried it myself. And the second beer is gonna be Hop House 13 Lager. All right, this is by Guinness. I've never tried this as well too. Um, there's one person that wanted to see me drink this actually, so why not put it in the video? And I think this might be a good one as well too, so. All right, let's get down to this. I got my two Belgian ale glasses here. I'm ready to go. Right. It's exciting. Can't wait to try the Bitburger one actually because uh, a lot of people say this is good. So I'm going to start with the Bitburger first and also keep in mind both these beers are chilled so at the perfect temperature. This is the Bitburger Premium Pulsner, Germany's number one draft beer. 500 ml. This is about 4.8 ABV. All right, let's see what kind of ingredients they have in here. Ingredients are water, malted barley, hops, and hop extract. Let's check this one out. really clear coloration right there it looks really clean decent amount of foam about a finger of foam really rocky head but uh hmm smell this one small small hints of uh hops not so hoppy though nice golden color very very nice golden color yes definitely not too much of a smell, just a little hoppy, that's it. Not too much. Very light. All right, let's taste test. Ooh. Wow. That's a really good Pilsner. Mm. Very, very slight hints of um, hops. They didn't use too much on this one. Well balanced though, very clean. Um, slightly crisp. It does have like a medium body to it. It's not so light. I would definitely say this is actually a really good beer. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, really, really, really smooth finish there. I like this one. Just perfect golden color. A little more malty versus like hoppy. I wouldn't say it's like a super hoppy beer or anything. I don't think it's meant to be. It's more like malt multi type of beer um, not being too bitter it's slightly bitter after the finish um i can feel it in my tongue it's slightly kind of bitter but it's not like overpowering but it's really good based on the multi side right so uh i love it it's like kind of slightly sweet as well too but not too sweet but uh -huh. yep it's good medium body too for something that's like 4.8 percent yeah it's pretty good i like this one all right next we're definitely gonna try the guinness hop house Lager number 13. This is brewed in Ireland. This is 5%. All right, let's see what's in the back. A group of enterprising brewers on a quest to explore new recipes, reinterpret old ones, and corroborate freely to bring exciting beers to life. Hop House 13 is named for the building where hops were once stored at St. James Gate. A golden lager with refreshing taste and clean and crisp finish. Brewed with Irish barley and double top. Okay, I expect this one to be a lot more hoppy. Okay, what kind of ingredients they have in here? Okay, it doesn't, it's just, it just, it just says contained barley in the back here. Let's give some more shot. Hot 13 from Guinness. Ooh. This is definitely a lot more darker compared to the Bitburger. I guess you from there. Nice caramel look to it though. Definitely a nice caramel look to it. A little bit more foam on this one. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Double hop for sure. Yeah, this is gonna be a really hoppy beer. A uh, little bit citrusy. Citrusy, hoppy, all right. So it tastes like. Oh yeah. Just as I just said, it's really crisp and clean. Very nice finish, um, a little citrusy, um, slight hints of caramel. 
very very slight hints of it oh yeah it's really estery too as well I don't know what kind of fruits they have in here but uh, it's, it's, it's a slightly I could taste it yeah it's estery clean um, really smooth finish medium ball as well definitely a medium body just as this but it's just a little more thicker compared to the bit burger the hops are not too overpowering even if it's like double hop it's not so overpowering like the bitterness is not it's not too much for me because i know there's certain beers that i do drink let's just say for example like flying monkeys they actually bump up their uh bitterness uh, really high it's a really hoppy hoppy beer um this one is it's not so bad um i'm not really such a big fan of uh, bitter beer but i can actually deal with it the right amount for me mm -hmm. Oh, definitely a really smooth finish though. It's gonna be a tough decision. Oh yeah, this this would be a good pairing with like fish or something, fish and chips. I could definitely eat this with fish and chips. Yeah, I like this one. They're both good beers. Oh man, okay, wow, I'm gonna give a rating. All right, so I'm gonna try a bit burger one more time. I should have rating from the beginning. Totally different styles. I love it. The bit burger, I would definitely give it like, uh, I'd definitely give it like a 4.3 out of five. It's a really good beer. And, and for the Guinness, I'd definitely probably give it about a little more, about almost the same range. Wow, that's that's hard to decide which one's better than the other one because they're both good. They're both delicious. They both have their different styles and their aspects as well. Oh boy, <laughs> Bit Burger's really delicious. Same thing as the Hop 13. Oh man, I I, I think this might be a tie, man. Because uh, you know what the thing about rating beers, it depends on your taste buds, and uh, not everyone's gonna like what you drink, especially if it's too bitter or not too bitter or too malty or too creamy. I, I would definitely give this like a 4.3, and I would definitely give this like a 4.4. You know, just a little bit over, but I, I, I do like Big Burger too. They're both good. I'm probably gonna have to give this one to. <sighs> it's really close, but I'm definitely have to give this to Hop House 13. I would not look down on this drink. This drink is actually really good. It tastes good, but I like this one a lot more better. It's, it's a double hop. Um, it's not too bitter. Nice, kind of estery. Very slight hints of car caramel as well too. Um, I, I definitely like this one. This has more of um, a, a variety versus this one. But uh, I definitely say what goes for the win on this episode would be Guinness Hop House a Lager 13. Wow, amazing. All right guys, this is the Beer vs. Beer series. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I uh, hope you guys are looking to see more of this uh, series. Uh, it's gonna be every Sunday, so if you guys can also drop your own ideas, like whatever beers that you wanna go against each other, drop it in the comment below and I will try to get my hands on it. Like I said, I don't have every single type of beers, but um, I, we do have a lot of different type of beers, so whatever I can do, I, I'll do so comment down below let's just say if you want to see Modelo versus Corona for example or or like flying monkey versus innocent guns drop it in the comment below I'll select something if I can't select some then um, I definitely gonna just choose my own so if you guys really enjoy this don't forget to thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and click the bell notification button so you'll know when I upload all right then uh see you guys in the next episode all right peace oh yeah the hot house 13 was really good